What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So it's been a while since my last video and I'm very happy that I'm back. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a sanitary plumbing system. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to create that system. So the scenario is I'm laying out the bathroom plumbing for the conference center project. Okay, so I'm still using the Autodesk sample project. So if you want to have this sample project, I'm glad, I would be gladly uh, share this model to you. Okay, so for this, I'm going to need to place uh, plumbing fixtures and then create a sanitary plumbing system. And then after that, I'm going to manually complete the plumbing run for the unit. Okay. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom into this portion. Okay, and then after that, so from the systems tab, I'm going to add a plumbing fixture. Okay, so I need to lay out first the plumbing fixture. So, for example, the water closet. Okay, so I'm going to place three water closets here. There you go. Okay, then after that, I select here lavatory. So I want to place lavatory here. One, two, and then modify. Okay, so after I place the five plumbing fixtures, I'm going to mirror this to the other side. Okay, so first I need to select these plumbing fixtures. Mirror that using uh, mirror draw axis. So I select mirror draw axis and then I'm just going to snap it here to the midpoint. So this is the first point and then this is the second point. There you go. Alright, so while the objects are selected, so what I'm going to do, I'm now going to start to create a plumbing system. Okay, so while the five objects are selected, so from the create systems uh, panel, I'm going to select piping. Don't worry if you if you already uh, deselected the objects. You just need to select uh, uh, one plumbing fixture and then you'll be able to see still the create systems piping provided that you haven't created system for that selected plumbing uh, fixture. Anyway, so like what I've said, okay, while the five plumbing, uh, plumbing fixtures are selected, I'm going to select here piping. So I select the piping. And then from here, from the create piping system, I'm going to name this second uh, floor sanitary. Oops. Uh, sanitary. Oh. Okay, and then I'm going to check here, open in system editor. So if I check this one, it will open the system editor that will allow me to add the remaining plumbing fixtures to the system. So I select OK here after I pick the system editor and then add to system. So you will notice you'll be going to the edit piping system tab and then you have these tools and then one of the tools that we will be using there is add to system. It's already selected so I just need to select these five plumbing fixtures. So as you can see it's uh, the total number of elements now are 10. Okay and then after that I'm just going to finish editing system. Okay now so what I'm going to do next is, is I'm now going to let uh, Revit uh, lay out the piping and then later on I'm going to modify it manually. So we're going to do two things, uh, automatic uh, layout and then manually layout. So we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select one of the plumbing fixture and then from the layout panel, I can see here generate layout. Okay, so I select Generate Layout. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select here, uh, Place Base. Places a base in the system to establish a source or an outlet for flow. So place the base control where the open pipe connection will be located for the layout. So I'm going to select 
place base okay and then after that I'm going to pick the intersection here so there's already our intersection guide so I'm going to select that okay and then I'm going to change here the offset distance okay so I'm going to change the offset distance so let's say a minus 1000 uh, 220 and then I change the diameter also to just 100 okay so 100 so after changing the offset and then the diameter the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select here the solution because Revit can uh, Revit also offers uh, multiple solution for the layout okay so I select solutions okay and then you will now see this Okay, you can actually uh, select the arrow here to explore the other solutions that Revit offers. This is for the network, this is for the perimeter. Okay, so it's the same as uh, my exercise last time with HVAC and my uh, chilled a water return exercise wherein you can select the solution type here that the Revit offers so for this exercise I just select network okay and then I'm gonna use this uh, setting or this layout if you want to check out the settings of the blue lines and then the green lines you can go to the settings here and then from here you can change the pipe type and then the offset by the way, the main pipe here, that is your blue pipe. Okay, the branch here, that is your uh, green pipe. Alright? Okay, so I'll I'm not going to change the setting here. I just show you the pipe conversion settings. I just select OK. Alright, and then from here, I'm going to generate now the layout. So I'm going to finish the layout. So after selecting this layout, so I finish the layout. And boom okay so that's now your layout right so if I'm going to check here the second floor plumbing so it looks like this okay so this is now your layout okay so let us try and go ahead uh, modify this layout manually okay so going back to my uh, second floor plumbing plan so this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to separate the connection of my uh, lavatories from my water closet so I'm going to manually modify this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two T fittings okay I'm going to delete that all right then after that this pipe here I'm going to move that to the left side with an offset distance of let's say for example I'm going to move it by uh, huh? let me just move it peak okay so let's say about 400 so 400 okay and then modify to deselect then after that i'm going to connect these pipes here using from the modify i'm going to select here trim extend to corner okay so i click this one two one two okay and then i'm going to connect these two pipes here there you go okay then after that okay I'm going to resize these pipes here because it's a bit uh, big compared to this pipe so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my pointer over the pipe without selecting it just hover your pointer to that pipe so once it highlights I'm going to press the tab one two okay so two times Okay, so again, you move your pointer to the pipe and then press that tab two times to highlight the connection of pipes. One, two. So once you see it highlights the branch pipe network, so I'm going to select the pipe. And then after that, from the diameter here, okay, so we just need to change the diameter. Okay, so I'm going to change the diameter to, uh, let's say, 100 or 50 51 do we have 51 here or 50 okay so i just select 50 there you go so that's now our pipe you see okay 
And then after that, I'm just going to select here modify. Okay, so, the, so in 3D view, it looks like this. So this is now your model. Okay. Now going back to my uh, second floor plumbing plan. So what I'm going to do next is, you see this elbow here. So I'm going, I'm going to click this elbow. So I want to create another pipe here, going here, and then going down. So after I select this elbow, I'm going to pick this plus sign here to make that elbow T-fitting. Okay? So actually, you can still click that T-fitting and then you can flip that. You see, there's an icon here. You can flip, right? So which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to flip it to this direction. It should look like this. Okay? And then modify. Okay. Then after that, I'm going to generate now the pipe to finalize my model. Okay, so I select this and then you see there's a node there. You can right click that and then you can select create pipe. So I select create pipe, or I mean draw pipe. Okay, and then I'm going to move my pointer until it aligns with this uh, reference guide plane. Okay, so I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to pick another point here. Okay, now to make my pipe go down so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to change the elevation okay so i'm going to change the elevation of my my pipe so let's say okay so this is my model okay so i'm going to make this minus value so minus 1220 okay then after that apply Okay, then after that, I select modify. Okay. There you go. So I'm now going to open the second floor plumbing plan. And there you go. So this is now our final model. Very simple model that showcase you on how to create the layout automatically and manually. Okay. So hope you learned something from this video and if you, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions, you can just put it below on the comment section and I will gladly uh, answer this back as soon as I can. So if you have <coughs> any uh, email, you can also email me at learningwithrich at gmail.com. Okay? So that is for now. So until then, you all stay beautiful and handsome. Bye.